Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have this HP power supply which does not work. The model of this power supply is PS-4241-9 HP. Okay, so let's hope we can fix this power supply. The first thing we do is always try it before opening it using my test box so let's connect the power lead okay it's connected let's turn on okay so the box is on we have 239 volts and we are now at 60 volt bulb this one the smaller one so let's try and turn on okay the lamp flashed which means that the primary side is good the primary capacitors has charged so let's measure the output of this power supply let's measure this small connector this one which has the green wire okay I will put the black lead at one of the ground leads at this wire so let's try and measure the green wire okay so the green wire has nothing at all the gray wire has nothing we have 2.9 at the white wire and nothing at the white and red wire Okay, so the green wire, this one, has nothing at all. Okay, let me put it like that. Okay, as you can see, we have nothing at all. Zero. Okay. The gray wire has nothing. Let's uh, measure the brown wires. They have nothing. The purple wire has nothing and the blue wire has nothing so i think the problem with this power supply is the standby voltage is not working okay so let's open it now we know that the primary side is working and uh, the secondary side also could be good the only problem is with the standby voltage so let's open it and uh, see if we can fix it Okay, so the power supply is opened. I can see the standby voltage IC, which is looking good. It's TNY279PG. Let's zoom in. So it's that IC, this one. And it looks okay, I think. I need to take the power supply out so we can measure that IC and the diodes next to it. Maybe we have a problem at the secondary side of the standby voltage. That's why the IC looks good. If it was a problem with the primary side of the standby voltage, then we will have a damaged IC. Normally that IC explodes when it gets shorted because it's connected through, uh, across the high voltage. And also the capacitors next to it, or I mean it, the diodes next to it. So I want to check that diode there, which is at the secondary side of the standby voltage. So let's take the board out. Okay, so the board is out. It's really dusty in here. Okay, let's test. Let's test uh, the big capacitor. Big capacitor has nothing at all. Okay, so let's test the diode 
I was talking about which is this one in here and another one is actually there I think one is this one okay so this one I think is good here is one this is good I think the other one is this one and yeah this is shorted actually and this is at the output of the standby voltage which is at the output of this small transformer which is the standby voltage transformer let me zoom in so you can see the position of that diode I was talking about it's that diode this one this diode is shorted so let's take it out and replace it and then we will test this power supply again okay so the diode is out here is the diode let's test it Yeah, it is shorted actually, as you can see, the other way around is also shorted. So this diode is MBR3100H, I think I have this one, so let's replace it. Okay, so here is a replacement diode, let's test it. Okay, this is a short key diode, 0 0.2 voltage drop. This one is shorted. Okay, let's install it and hope it works. Okay, let's put it back and see if it will work. Okay, let's bring test box again. Okay, let's turn on. We have 238 volts. The lamp flashed, indicating the primary side is charged now. So let's measure again the green wire here. And we have 4.3 volts now, so the standby voltage is now present. And if we short, let me put this at the yellow wire. If we short now the green wire to the black wire, the power supply should start. And it is here. Yeah, we have 12.2 volts. Okay. So this power supply is now fixed. Let me put it back all together. Then we will test it again. Okay. So let's test it again.
the power is on Okay, let's short the green wire to the black wire and see if it does work. And yeah, it does work. We have 12.28. Let's go to direct. And now the power supply is connected directly to the mains and bypassing these two lamps. And yeah, it is working normally. So yeah, this power supply is now fixed. I hope you enjoyed this repair. If you like it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.